Good morning, everybody. It looks like we're going to have a fun one today. Uh, it is August 24th. So any questions uh, about the newsletter, the free link in the description to get there. But I got asked a lot to keep saying the date. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to constantly say the date so that people know what day it is. Uh, I think it's helpful, actually, to put the dates on those thumbnails, too, for people. So there is an in order for me to get through. Uh, I'm just going to go through some highlights, you know, some of the comments yesterday. Please comment on these because it tells me how to create content. Uh, some of these comments were for me to go through what I, I think is important first. Um, I understand that. I'm definitely going to do that. It's, it's most certainly, uh, you know, um, most certainly something to consider, but you know, just watch this Sophie today. I mean, this actually popped out a little bit right here. You're already getting up to this trend line. You know, this actually makes a lot of sense down here if they finally cleaned up SoftBank. So you want to watch that today. Uh, this is something we already did in the trading room. You might want to watch this today. You're getting a lot of interest uh, back in this now that they have financing. Um, we got in a little cheaper. We had this little pop in it already, um, you know, almost two bucks off the open. Uh, before the open, not a bad way to start the day. But for me, what what the 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 crux of what I, I would be focused on is this, and then I, I will get into questions. I, I would be watching this like a hawk. I, I would be watching this lower low here like a hawk, because if you take that out, um, if you take that out, you're going to have issues. And I'd look at where you are in regards to RSI. Okay, I would look at where you are in regards to RSI. Um, and, and kind of go from there. So, you know, if you drill down into this a little bit, it's definitely something that should be on your radar uh, here. Let me show you this on the hourly and let's get off of this. So you can kind of see uh, that you're failing here to, to get through. Now I use different metrics, but um, you're kind of failing to get through there. Wow. This thing's having real issues. So let's just keep going here. But that's definitely on my radar. This Tesla is definitely on my radar today. Uh, it's one that I would definitely watch. Watch this level right here. See how you act on it and go from there. And let's just see. Let's see if we can just uh, refresh this page and maybe that will get rid of the issue. So yep, that seems to have gotten rid of the issue. So that's good. Uh, now... Let's see. So and so just watch, watch those names today. You're seeing a lot of inflows into oil. I do think that that will continue. Um, I don't see any reason to think that that, you know, that won't continue. So you know, definitely something to think about. Um, so some, something that, that's definitely on, you know, my my radar and. Um, And sing, and let me just put this out there. And we'll go from there, good. So let me just grab this link and then I'm golden. Okay, so th that's really where my head is. I mean, these are the things that I'm personally focused on. Uh, and then we'll go from there and we'll see how that goes. Let me just, um, I got to get this link and drop it in a couple spots and then we're golden here. So this live stream, this really takes a while to load in. I'm not really sure why it takes so, so long uh, to do that. Let me get that shareable link and drop that in to here. And we will go from there and then we will deal with this as well. Okay, great. So that's really where my head is on what I'm focused on, but I would really focus on energy more than anything. I mean, that seems to be the, the bigger move here. Uh, the ZM keeps bumping its head right on this level. So I'd watch that 48 level if you're looking for a dividend paying stock, but overall names are just, there's certain names that are just absolutely ripping. So we've had this nailed for some time. It finally broke out like three, four days ago. It looks like you're going to go even higher today. Uh, again, if you don't get the newsletter, there's a link in description uh, to follow along the free version. But this is really where you're at and this is what's going on. So overall, I uh, I think we're in good shape. You, know, you have NVIDIA tonight, so you're going to have to be careful with that as well. 
So um, that's really what I want to go over. You know, I'll take questions, obviously, about anything. But, you know, I was asked to start doing that a little bit more um, in the morning. So, hey, Doug, good morning. So yep, let's start getting into some of these names, EQNR and ZM. So EQNR. So, yep, I mean, names like this that have already moved so much, for me, they're very hard to buy. Uh, but that that's that's moving. I mean, there's very little to say negatively about that, right? I mean, here was your breakout and you never looked back. That's just the funny thing about breakouts. People want to wait. You know, sometimes you can wait and then get by that pullback, but sometimes you don't get the pullback. And that's what people don't understand. Like the ones that go, go. And when they do, you want to be involved with them. So do you want to own that up here or do you want to, you know, get out here? So a couple things you really have to think about. And I'm not so sure that I would be, uh, I'm not so sure that I would be chasing that up uh, to say the least. And that's not really how I invest, but you know, you are up a lot. I mean, if you can get back to that 39 level, that would definitely be something that I would be looking at uh, for sure. You know, it, it's definitely an area that would interest me, you know, if I could get there. Um, but, you know, you have to kind of see how that plays itself out. Now, in regards to uh, the other that you've asked about, which was ZM. Let's do ZM here and get that done as well. So, and you can just watch that level right there. Like, look, this was a really bad quarter. Um, it was not perceived well at all. Like they're, they're missing earnings again. People are kind of bummed by that. There's very little to say there. There's very little to do there. Um, if it breaks the 79, it's going lower. I, I just don't think it makes, you know, like, like unless you're being like really quick trades, you know, shorting this at 86, you know, when you opened, you know, if you did it after hours, great. But, you know, you opened at what, you know, 84, you closed at 81. I mean, do you need that $3 that bad? Like if that thing snaps back, you know, I, I would just be careful shorting here. I, I can't stress that enough. Like I know people are getting all giddy and, and shorting and, I get it. Things don't look great with the economy, but I would be really careful shorting. I certainly would not be going long. Maybe it grinds lower. It absolutely can, but I'm I'm in no hurry to play that game here. Um, it's not something that I would perceive, you know, that I would be very interested in. Um, so, you know, that's where I'm at, Matt's on that. I don't know if you're looking long or short. Could you cover socks and Sophie? Sure. So SOXL. Um, if you take a look at what's going on here and we can just draw that line right here, right? Whoops. Boop, 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 boop. You can see the break pretty clean, right? Like you can see that, that we finally broke through, went away down. The, your biggest issue is that whatever you do today is going to be completely negated by what happens tonight. So, I mean, you look at NVIDIA's chart, you look at the socks, it's like looking in the mirror. I mean, it's the same exact chart, right? So no matter what happens there is going to happen uh, to, to this whole semiconductor space is, is really my point. So when you think about it from that perspective, what is that going to do, right? Well, that's going to put you in a position where you're going to always want to be really careful with what you're doing. And, and for me, I, I would just be very cautious of that. Um, very cautious of that. So, you know, it's not something I would be playing if I if I was not willing to take a lot of risk uh, this morning. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, in regards to, uh, bu, 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 let's just keep going here through the list. So the Sophie is very interesting to me, to say the least. Um, I'm not really sure why that is doing what it's doing uh, from where you close to where you're up. There must be news that I missed this morning. I just haven't gotten through all my news yet. And that's what I have to do. I have to get through it all. But uh, let's just take a look here. And let's just take a look. But I I'm not sure what the news is. I haven't gotten through it yet. Um, this can absolutely turn and go. This was earnings. You've come all the way back down here to where support is. I'm not so sure, you know, 
I think that they're saying that SoftBank's done selling. So if SoftBank's done selling, I think that's really very interesting to, to say the least, because now your seller's gone. Um, and I'm not really, you know, I'm not really sure why you're getting the big push, but you are this morning. I don't see anything on the tape uh, except that maybe, um, you know, I mean, on the ninth, SoftBank said that they were going to sell. This was the ninth. SoftBank said they were going to sell 5.4 million shares. I mean, maybe everyone thinks that they're cleaned out and maybe that's why you're seeing that bounce today, right? That could be the reason um, why you're seeing that. You could be seeing that because people think that they're cleaned out out you know and that that could be it but i don't see anything um and go from and go from there so let's see how we play out and we'll go but i i do i do think that that's definitely something to watch that level um i would not rule it out would i chase it no i'm not chasing anything up 10 percent in this market so let's just keep going good morning uh Let's go next here. Hey, John, market index is messy. Pullback or change? TTCF. Yep. Um, so I think Oxy looks great. I mean, I don't think there's much to say here about Oxy. Like, you know, we're very fortunate. We nailed it. Let it go. You know, let it go. Move your stop up. Understand if you stop here and you have concerns, just get out of the way. I mean, for me, I think it can go much higher. I really do. I think it could be a triple digit stock. I, I, he's not buying it to make 10%. That's not how this guy invests. That's not how Buffett invests. So there's some other new product that they actually just rolled out. So there's a lot of moving parts to this. And I would watch that like an absolute hawk. I would not uh, sleep on that at all. So definitely something to consider. Now, in regards to, um, let's just keep going here. In regards to TTCF, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, let's take a look at that TTCF. Let's go through that. So, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, that's not really my kind of, um, you know, my kind of trade. I see the pop. Maybe it goes, maybe it doesn't. I, I don't know. You're in, you, you have so much noise in here. Um, you have so much noise in here that, I would just be really, really careful, um, really careful. So, you know, you're going to have to kind of play this out a little bit, but I mean, there's your level. I mean, that, talk about ringing a bell on what you should be watching. 769 is what I would be focused on there. That would be my level. And that's what I would focus on. So, Hey Lawrence, uh, MRO, your opinion, please. Sure. So let's go from there and take a look. So MRO, you can see very clearly how you're coming across and you can see 2621 right there and you can see how we're going to push and how we're going to go higher, right? So you just want to watch that 2621 level. Um, I think anything in this space looks good. I think the majority of names getting attention right now are just the larger cap ones. And I think that's liquidity based. You know, I think you're seeing a lot of people just not want to play games here. Uh, and stay in names. That's where my head is with it. You know, I don't think people want to be in names that they have to worry about right now. And I think that's a big, uh, big concern. So, you know, let's just keep rolling. You know, I, I think it is like, I don't think people want liquidity issues right now. So we're going to have to watch how that plays itself out and go from there. Now, in regards to, uh, 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 let's just keep going here and see what else we have. Yeah, TNX trend is up. VIX trend is up. A cracked. Yep. So I'm I'm watching those two. I think you have to watch those really closely. So if you look at the ten year, like you try you're trying to get through again. You got the 307. It looks like you know whether or not you get through that 308. I have no idea. You know nobody knows. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Uh, it's not something that I'm really that focused on or paying attention to. So definitely uh, an, an issue, but. You know, something that I, I would be focused on. So let's take a look here uh, and go morning. And it looks like 900 resistance uh, for Tesla. Your thoughts? Sure. So, yep, I think that you're right around that area. For me, that number is something like um, right 
here would be on your daily, right? If you're looking at pre and post, um, if you got rid of the pre and post, you're going to come down a little bit more. You're going to be more right here is going to be that level. And then I'll move that level out for a moment. So that's your first level that you're probably really going to be focused on. People watch. If I got through that, I might look at that pre and post level of 910. And then you're going to really want to see how you act, you know, when you get over the open of this price, which puts you back at 918. But could this move? Sure. This could absolutely move today. It could have a, it could have a huge day. I mean, what, what you have to watch is you have to watch how we're going to react to these names that are on that 21 day and how they bounce, right? That's what you have to really pay attention to. I mean, you're really at a very critical level. Like look at Apple, right? So you want to look at these names that are actually doing better uh, than the indexes, which have broken that level. So that's definitely something to, to focus on. Now, um, saying that, let's look at names like CELH. So, you know, you, can you chase these? Yeah, you can chase them if you want. But, you know, is it is it worth chasing these names? I, I don't think so. I mean, look, that formed a base, that broke out. People are going to be all over this chasing it today. I, that's not really my kind of trade in this market. You know, you, that, that whole bottom could get pulled out in a moment, right? So the majority of the move, really, the best part of that move happened but the day before, right, where you were just – flip that little doji right there. But if you look at this, you come in, you're at 105, the next 15 minutes you're at 108 and then you just go. Um, and then you just kind of park there all day. I, I'd be really apprehensive buying this up here. And on a short-term basis, I don't see how you don't pull back. Now they can always go higher right before they pull back. But when you start seeing stuff like this on a short-term basis, you have to be super aggressive to want to play that because you need to break back through that RSI. This needs to bounce. And then maybe you can get up to that 115, 116 level. But that's a super aggressive trade for me. Like uh, it's not something that I would be, uh, you know, really pounding the table on and trying to get involved in, if that makes sense. So uh, Oxy, Exxon, ETU. Um, yeah. I mean, hey, Jen. So like the, all those names. Yeah. I mean, I like them. Uh, is there a safe way to get in the oxy? You know, right now you're at that level. I mean, here, see this right here? And I'll flip to, I'll split this screen for a moment so you can see, Jim. So like, there you are on the daily, right? Right here. And then here you are on the 15 minute. You can see how you're bouncing around, right? So is that something that you really want to deal with? You know, the answer is probably not, right? You probably don't want to deal with that. Um, you probably want to see it break out. I mean, that's where my head would be. I, I don't know. I don't know that I'd be chasing that. I think, I think we captured the majority of the move and I don't see any reason to do anything with it in case it does push higher. Uh, but would I be committing new capital right here? No, I mean, we added to it on the break. Um, I had a trade at like 68.30 this day that I got in. I bought some more up here at 71.00. You know, am I, and you know, I bought that at 71, then came in and, you know, got the flim flam, but then found another spot to add. So I've just been position building in it. Do I want to add up here? I mean, I, I know people want to do the breakouts. You know, energy names are, are wonky creatures. And I, the only thing that I could tell you about energy names is they always give you another chance to get back in, right? And in this market, you have to understand, like, you're going to go sideways. I mean, you're going to go sideways. You're going to get opportunity to get back in. Now, if you're looking for a quick trade, you might want to watch this 80, uh, 98.67 level. There might be a quick trade there, but you know, you're know you really going to have to watch that and see how that plays itself out. Um, that's not something that I would be you know, overly you know, focused on. So, um, you know, ET, I'll take a look. Let's take a look at ET. Sure. So, but yeah, so something like ET, you know, they're, they're already kind of breaking out, right? So you were at 10, now you're at 12. I mean, where, where do you go next, right? Do you get to this level right up here, 1248? Um, I, I think things like that, that you, you know, you, you can really focus on and see how they act. You know, that's up to you. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not chasing these little ones right here, right? And what scares me about these is just these gaps. 
you just come in one day and you, you go to a level you're supposed to go up and now you're down here and technically you have to close it, right? Unless you're going to just say, no, I'm going to use the 21 day. Okay. I mean, you could, you could trade that way and just use the 21 day and see what happens. Sure. Um, that's up to you. You know, it's up to everybody how they trade. Everybody trades differently. So I'd like the Exxon better. I'd like Oxion pullbacks. I mean, they're the ones that make the most sense to me. What's up, Timo? Um, you know, I just think you need to be careful there. I know a lot of people are really interested in that name. It's, it's, this is your level. Okay. I have a very different take on this company. I listened to him on a podcast the other day with Pomp, and I think Pomp does a really good job actually um, on his podcast explaining this, but this is the level that I've been using. And I just want to explain what I'm looking at here. Okay. So that people can grasp this. So this is the day that they came out and said that they were going to buy Bitcoin. Okay. This is what's happened since they bought Bitcoin. Okay. So since they bought Bitcoin, let's just be really clear about their earnings. Okay. A write down of $98, a write down of $10, a write down of $840. Okay. They're just bleeding money to offset their gains on Bitcoin. The problem is they don't have any gains in Bitcoin. Okay. He didn't buy Bitcoin at $1,000. I think his average cost now is what, 27? Maybe it's 27. So he's actually down in the trade. So just so you like understand where my head is with this trade, right? And how I how I view it, it's okay. Well, this is when, if you go back to it, you go back to those levels, this is when you started buying it, right? Right in here, right? So if you look at back to where he started, how it went and where it's at, I think it's the last calculation was like a billion or a billion and a half loss, right? Isn't that where he's at on, on it? He's got like a loss on the whole position. I think he just bought more though. So I've got a billion dollar loss. I've got a billion dollars in debt that I didn't have before. And the stock's 100% higher than it's ever been. I, I don't get it. So, you know, go for it if you want. Um, if I thought Bitcoin was going to go higher, I don't know why I wouldn't buy Bitcoin. I don't know why I would pay a premium for Bitcoin, I guess is what I'm going at. Like, why do I want to buy MicroStrategy's Bitcoin at 38000 Why wouldn't I just go buy Bitcoin at 21.4 and call it a day? Right? That's kind of where my head is. I actually think over time this just trades back down, but it's it's definitely got a cult-like following and that's definitely working with it. So do what you want there, but it's not my kind of trade. What's up, Tug? So... Price looks macro driven. Amen had great numbers and it's down. Yeah, that's kind of where my that's kind of where my head is with it. Um, I kind of think that you're seeing something along those lines where you're definitely seeing a, a move higher, right? Like you're seeing this push and then you're seeing this kind of roll uh, associated with it. So you're just going to kind of have to watch how that plays itself out. Um, I don't really view that as something that, you know, you you need to to shy away from, you know, I, I don't know, man, you're gonna have to watch those numbers tonight. Like that can go either way. I, I would not be in a big hurry here to tell you that I have a decision that, you know, way that I'm leaning, let me put it to you that way. Okay. I just don't see anything that is uh, something that I have to focus on, you know, what's going on, Cameron. N T L A F C X. Yep. Let's do it. So you're coming right into that level, you know, want, see how you're reversing. These are the kinds of reversals you really need to pay attention to. Um, I, this is a very tough spot to buy this. And it's definitely something that you have to kind of watch. Um, but you are shaping up very, very nicely. And it is possible that you get to that, you know, up here again. It is. So these kinds of reversals you really need to watch. And you need to watch them closely. Okay. Uh, that's definitely something that I would be doing. FCX. Sure. Let's get into it. So something like FCX, I would definitely watch these levels and I would watch things like that, like 3175. You know, if you see where you're getting more volume like that, right. It's definitely areas that you're going to want to pay attention to. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, if, if you commodity based, and I know what people are thinking, um, 
you know, commodity based is something that you definitely have to to focus on. Right. So what, what do we mean by that? You can't really do what you're doing on the Internet without or I'm sorry, you can't really do what you're doing on oil. I don't know where the Internet came from, where without copper, you need copper. Right. So the question becomes, are they going to drill down? Are they not going to drill down? And that's what we just don't have an answer to right now. Like we just we just don't know um, how that's going to play out. So for me, I'd watch that 31. What's the what's the other one? SCCO or SCO? SCCO. How's that one look? Yep. Let's take a look at that. I mean, pretty much the same trade, right? So I don't know that I'd be going too crazy. Um, you know. You know, I don't know that I'd be going too crazy with that whole space. I think I'd want to wa watch how it plays out and kind of go from there. You know, that's where my head would be with it. I don't know that it's something that I would um, really want to, you know, go crazy with. I think I, you're better off just waiting and watching. And if you want to be in that space, why wouldn't you just, you know, if you want to be in that space, why wouldn't you just, in my opinion why not just be in oil? Like what, what, why own copper? You know, what, what's the benefit, right? Like that's kind of where my head is. What, I mean, why do I want to own copper? Like I, I get the, like I get the fertilizer trade, right? Like that I understand. Okay. I understand the fertilizer trade. I don't understand the, um, I don't understand the copper. I don't get that, I guess is the best way for me to explain it. You know, if I had to, I'm going to have to take a look at this. BBBY to see what's going on there. Okay, great. So, and we'll go from there. Now, let's just pull that up and uh, just go down and just keep going. All right. So, what we need to do is just keep rocking and rolling here. So, I hope that helps, Cameron. Um, the NTLA is very interesting. What's up, Fanny? Uh, Walmart and INTL. Yep. So, Walmart, you know, it's it's kind of falling down here. I, I, ha I really wish it wasn't, to be candid with you. Um, but I'm surprised you broke this level. What's so interesting about this move is Walmart and Target are already talking about how more people are coming to their stores. Like the internal chatter on the weekly is that more people are coming into their stores because gas prices dropped. So that's very interesting that, you know, the stocks are coming down but because gas prices stopped, st dropped. People are going to Walmart more, right? So as you're seeing that, um, that's definitely something that I would be you know, watching, you know, it's definitely something that would be on my radar for sure. Um, I'm looking for some kind of reversal here and maybe another setup to, to add to my position there. Um, I, I do like that name. I do have, you know, I do want to play that name. Uh, I think it's ridiculous, like the quarter that they had and where they're at. And I know we're all waiting for, you know, INTL, I don't seem to have, uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. INTL, no, I don't have INTL. Uh, what's going on, Bob? You're welcome, man. Anytime, John. Good morning, Mitch. A AT. Yep, let's look at Ford. So here you are. You're fighting that 21 day. These are the names you want to pay attention to. You know, they gap down, they get to a level of support, and then you have to see if they're going to hold that support. If you're if you're not willing to take risk, you you really can't do anything here, right? You have to be willing to take that risk. If you're not willing to use that as your stop level, that 1491, I can flip that uh, down right here to bottom left. Uh, but if you're not going to be willing to take that level of risk, don't do the trade. But if you if you're going to pop over this and then go higher, you know, and you want to be in this, it might be worth risking the 50 cents because, you know, and this is really tough to, for people to understand. Like when you start basing, you're going to have like these U patterns, right? You're going to get stopped out on break evens a lot if you're not scaling out on rallies. It's just the way it is. It doesn't mean you're going back to $10, right? Like that's what everyone needs to get out of their head. To me, all we're doing and just, and it doesn't mean I'm right, but let me just show you this on like the, the spy, right? All we're doing is working off an overbought condition in my head. I mean, that's all I see. I don't see the end of the world again. I know everybody's waiting for this. You know, I can't tell you how many like futures traders I talk to that are watching this, you know, uh, 
41, 25 level like a hawk. I mean, that's all they do is talk about this level all day long. I think everyone's focused on that level. You're probably not going to break that level, but look, anything could happen and you could, right? So you need a plan in place. And what I'm suggesting to you is to use this level and kind of go from there. I think that's really very important. So that would be my focal point. Uh, definitely, you know, that's where I would be. But I, I don't know, Mitch, you have to be willing to take that risk, but I do like it. GTE, yeah, DeBasian, let's take a look. So my concern would be this right here. I've got this nasty red bar. I don't like the smaller ones. Everybody knows that, but I would make sure that I would be clear of that before I would even start uh, looking at anything. That's where my head would be. Um, you know, I would want to make sure that I am through that area before I even continue to push. So, you know, definitely something for me to, uh, to think about. You know, definitely something to, to consider. Um, I, I need to get through that level, man. You definitely need to get through that level. IPI. Yep. Let's take a look. IPI. Yep, let's take a look here. I'm just going to want to watch this. Yeah. I mean, it's the right space. Like this whole space is going extremely well and that definitely could continue to go well. So could this turn? Yeah, this could turn. I'd watch those levels I've marked off there. I have them on there for a reason. 52.85. Let's take a look at that other level and go from there. I don't know where that's coming from. Is that a weekly? Yep. So 5120, that's why I always leave these levels in when I see something. See how you're responding to it? So you, you know where your seller is, right? So go from there and, and see how you act. Um, you know, go from there and see how you act and, and kind of see from there. That's where my head would be with it. Um, IPI, oh, you know what, let me look at these. Yeah, I like those. I like all, both of those. I, you know, I was looking at these last night. And I was trying to make a decision, but both of them are very interesting because I have this base and now you're pushing on that base. You're actually breaking out of that base. I mean, I can't imagine the land in Ukraine is going to be that hospitable to growing what needs to be grown right now, right? That's our first issue. Your second issue is People are going to want to start growing their own food. They're not going to want to deal with this. Countries are going to want to be in charge of their own food supply. You know, the whole the whole global agenda is just in tatters. If you look at what's going on out there, how linked everybody is, um, it's really you know it's really affecting everybody. And there's your level ninety three, and you say you flip, but it's really affecting everybody. And it's definitely something that is going to change. And so people are going to grow their own food. I was always surprised that it came all the way back down, but it did. And it gave people a great opportunity. That's not really my kind of trade, right? I can try to buy, try it sometimes with certain names. I usually try to bottom fish with the sector. Like you can see that breakdown right there, which was beautiful. And then it went, uh, but those names, yeah, they all look great. I mean, they all look just exceptional. Um, BA. So yeah, I would definitely look at that. CVNA. Yep. So just FYI, you know, just I constantly have a short on in this name. So I don't know if I'm the right person to ask or not. Um, I always have like some kind of put option on there. I still have puts outstanding for like 15 bucks, 10 bucks, and I have short stock. Um, you know, I was asked about this the other day, if this is where you short it. You know, there's a pattern and I'm sure it's called something else. But, you know, I, I in my head, I call them devil horns where you start seeing these names pop over. And you basically get the same level right here. It kind of looks like a devil's face to me, right? We kind of pull back, right? So I just call I just call them devil horns. No matter what you refer to them as, when you see this, you have an issue. And that was pretty much where you should have added to it. I, I, I'm not a big add to short place here, unless you believe fundamentally at this point. I think the very the very easy money on the short side has been made, and people are trying to pick the bones and don't understand the short game enough. 
And I think that they're, they could, they're going to have a problem, right? There's a reason why there's only one like short seller that's been around for 30 years, right? There's only like really one left that's been doing it. Um, so you know, we'll kind of see what happens there, but um, I'm staying short. Would I buy that? No, I wouldn't go near it. If you're thinking on the long side, I would not be going near that. Um, there's too many issues there. Yep. TX through the, through 29, 10 years, years moving that. No, it's not. The question is how much of it's factored in. That's the question, Trav. How much is factored in, right? So we don't know that yet. Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's very clear who's in charge of oil, right? I mean, that's becoming increasingly clear that it is not, um, you know, it's becoming increasingly clear who's in charge of oil. Like, this name's definitely going to go again. It's just a matter of time. Um, you pop over this level today, you're probably going to see a whole other renewed interest. My problem is that I have a 50-day that's like sitting right there. So it's not my kind of trade when I have got a declining 50 day and the 21 still below the 50. Can it work? It absolutely can work. You can see you can see your buy level very clearly here. Right? I mean, this is support. This is major support. And you're, you know, you undercut once, you didn't stay long, didn't stay there long, and you've been grinding ever since. So can this go higher? Yeah, absolutely this can go higher. And that's definitely something that you need to take into account. So, you know, definitely something that I would be looking at, um, to say the least. So, you know, definitely would be on my radar. But Debasian, it, I love it, man. I, I love that name. Everyone knows that. I traded around in that since four bucks. 480, I think, was my first buy. But, oh, you're welcome, brother. Anytime. My pleasure. Regarding NVIDIA, please like this video. It helps greatly with the algorithm. Um, regarding NVIDIA, maybe the, by the pullback after earnings, I, I think you have to see how, how that whole thing plays out, Ant. I really do. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that conference call. And what are they going to say? Are they going to say, yeah, we're, we're through the worst part? Or are they through you know, the next? Or is there another level? So are they going to say that they're going through another level or are they going to say that they're working on the next part? Like, what are they, what are they going to say? And then kind of go from there, right? That's kind of where my head is uh, with it. So, you know, that's really where, it, what I would be focused on. Um, you know, that's really where my head would be and that's what I would be focused on. So something to, to consider and then go from there. But just watch these levels and then we'll kind of figure out what to do with those levels from there, right? And that's pretty much it. So um, overall, I don't really see a, you know, overall, I don't really see a need to do anything here. I think you're just better off watching and waiting. Sorry, um, but I think you're better off watching and waiting. I, I don't know, Anthony, it's not something I would, ch I would chase. Um, Oh yeah, Intel. I can definitely go over, and it's definitely something that we should probably uh, focus on, you know, and go from there. But let's take a look at that. I mean, you could look at it. Is it something that you? I don't know. Like, I mean, you really want to buy the, the dog? Like, uh, you're bottom fishing. I mean, maybe, maybe they hang in there. Maybe that hangs in there. Um, you know, the most interesting thing is I just check sediment, and so many people like. So many people are so negative on it um, that maybe it does work. What's going on, Kunal? Uh, LABU. Yep. So I, I think you're on to something there. Um, let me show you this on the on a weekly. So I, I would be looking at this. It's definitely something that I would be focused on. Um, you're starting to try to turn and you know make your first green bar in, what, three weeks? So it's definitely something that I would be looking at. Um, I like the space. I think if you take a look at XBI, you know, which is really the more diversified of the ETFs for biotech, um, you're trying to form that little doji right here. You're trying to hold above that 50 on the weekly. This is just a pullback of working that off. So I do like that name and it's definitely something that I would be focused on. 
Um, it's definitely something I'm fo focusing on. Yep, that's a big news for Peloton. Um, you know, that Peloton story where my head was, you know, it being a zero uh, is probably, you know, probably not the case if they're going to start doing stuff like that. So, you know, you, that might continue. It's not really my kind of trade um, because there's still a lot of fundamental issues. But can that get back to that 16 level? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to happen today, but you could definitely see that happen. Um, RNG, let's take a look at that, Falcon. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's not my kind of trade at all, man. Um, somebody, somebody wants out. I mean, someone doesn't think that, th that it's working. Um, the earnings really are not dropping unless there's something else. But like, maybe that this growth is slowing. I'd have to read the reports. But they're not really falling off a cliff earnings wise. But that's just, that's nasty, man. That's just, you got to stay out of the way. Until you see anything, you know, that can go lower. That can go much lower. You know, you don't know where the bottom is on things like that. Like, is it, you know, is it here? Is it 13? Like, you just don't know. But it's not something I'd be chasing, that's for sure. Um, let's keep going from there and see what else we have. Yep. So that's pretty much it. I, well, I got through all the questions today. That was pretty fast. So, again, I would just reiterate that I would watch... Uh, spy, I mean, that would definitely be my preemptive thing. I would want to see how I respond to this level and go from there. Um, that would definitely be of a, an interest to me. I don't think that you have to, you know, I don't think you have to jump the gun here. I think you just have to sit, watch, and wait and and see how you play out. Now, the, the more important thing is going to be NVIDIA tonight. And then people are going to want to wait until Friday, it looks like, before they do anything. But this NVIDIA call is going to shape semiconductors and it's going to shape the NASDAQ. So keep that in mind. Um, and you just might see people play other stuff uh, in the meantime. Um, you know, the Sophie, I saw a lot of volume this morning. That's very interesting. Something that I will definitely be focused on. But, you know, the majority of stocks that I see that make the most sense it, it are going to be, you know, those kinds of um those kinds of energy and oil names. But even then, I'm wondering if we just see light volume going into Friday. You know, you're not really seeing a lot here. Let's just be blunt. Like, you're not seeing a lot. You're not seeing a lot of interest in this. You're basically holding in there. You're up six basis points. Like, you just, you really have to see how this is going to shape up. And that's really what we have to focus on here. So that's definitely where my, uh, my head is with it. And uh, we'll go from there. So, but um, yeah, it's a long watch. Um, uh, yeah, it, it might be. It, it, might, it, it might be, Falcon. Like, I think you just have to wait. Uh, we went through that. MRVO, we covered. Let's do DV, DVN. So right space, right time, man. I mean, my question is, do I really want to be in the one that's like kind of wiki? I'm not so sure that I do. I, I'm just going to tell you all these names are going back to highs, in my opinion. I think the whole sector is going back to highs. Like, I, I don't know how people can think that that sector is not going back to highs. I really don't know, Operation. I, I just don't see how people can think that. Good morning. Um, that whole space is just on fire. And you... So, yep, you just have to see what you're going to do here and how you're going to flip and then if you can push. So, but yeah, absolutely, that could go. Uh, INSM. You're right on that level, 25, and you flipped. I like that trade. That can work. You can easily test the top of this again, 28, 29 bucks. That can work. Uh, oh, no, it's cool. I'm going to jump in the room right now. Uh, FLNC, if you're interested in the trading room, there is a link in description. NC. So, yep, names like this you want to watch. See how that's curling? See how that RSI is starting to point up? Definitely something to watch. 
you might want to just go out on, if you see like this much nonsense, you might want to go out in the weekly. Yep. So you got a little flag there. One, two, three, boom. And you could just run right up. You know, this might be interesting to look at volume by price on. Yeah. Look at that gap right in here. That could go. Yep. I like that. And the other was AEHR. Yep, you know, that's one that we have a position in in the newsletter. Um, I, I'll just tell you this, like here's the weekly. You know, if you close like this on the weekly, that's highly impressive considering how bad semiconductors are doing. So you'd have a bullish engulfing on this flag, right? Even if you count, here's the flag and a three bar pattern going in the next week. Like that's huge. So I really, I really have my eye on this and trying to see how that's going to play out. But I like that name a lot here. All right, I got to jump. I got to hop in the trading room. Should you need anything, please reach out. As always, you can just email me. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't. There you go. Uh, but you can always email me there. And please like your video on the way, on, like the video on the way out. Man, I'm going to need more coffee today. I can already see it. So crowd. And you see how you're just trading right into that. I would watch these. That's on the weekly. I, I would just watch these names. Like you had a nice day. You're coming right into resistance. And, you know, Snow's coming out with earnings next, right? Isn't that the next one, I think? So I would be really careful there. All I see is rally and rejection. That's all I, that's all I saw yesterday uh, in that whole space. Um, I that's all I saw. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Trade to win today.